Okay, so let's go ahead and put together our little butterfly luminary freebie. And the first thing we want to do is get our vellum in place. And it'll be really helpful if you take and just fold everything at the score marks on these two pieces here so that when we place these down, we know how far not to go as far as the side and the bottom goes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let me get my little scrap piece of paper here and just make sure that my glue is flowing. Okay, um, I think the best thing to do with this as far as the vellum goes is just to place dots all around the design. You don't necessarily have to get it in every little single nook and cranny, just as long as you have enough to hold it in place, it'll do a really good job of keeping this vellum in place. Okay, so that's probably plenty. And actually we need some over here as well. Okay, and I'm just gonna put that down like so. The dots help to ensure that you're not smearing it when you kind of push it down like this so you don't get glue coming out of the little cutouts. Okay, so that's what it should look like. So you're just gonna take the pieces that match up here and put them on these four panels and then we can go ahead and continue assembling this thing. It's a very simple piece actually and could actually be a fun little project to do with some kids or if you're in the mood to craft but don't want to start anything big and want to create a little, a little luminary for your back porch or something to add to your little table outside, or maybe you're having a party of some sort and you wanna add a little ambiance with a little custom flair. Okay, so that's how that looks. And we're gonna go ahead and fold that at the score mark as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue on here and get my glue, just little dots all throughout this little design here. And this thing's gonna go together nice and easy for us. I think that's good. And just place that down. Just make sure that you've got the, the actual cutouts all covered up nicely. Okay, and let's finish this off here. You can do lines of glue if you want. I just find that sometimes with vellum, it doesn't absorb the glue as well. So it has more of a tendency to smear when you actually get it in place. And um, we don't want we don't want to um, tarnish or get any glue on the vellum itself because that's just going to take away from the look. We want it to be nice and crisp and clean and as perfect as we can get it. And that looks good to me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this over. And what we're going to do is we are going to glue these side by side like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue on this tab here. Okay, and I'm gonna run that glue out to the edge there and just slide that underneath and just make sure that it's lined up both vertically here and horizontally down here and then just push down and let that get a nice grip. And then you can actually fold it over on itself and run your finger along this tab here and this edge here and just make sure that it's all nice and lined up. And I got a little bit of glue on the side there. I don't know how that happened, but that's okay. So I'm gonna open this up real quick and I'm gonna put glue 
on this tab here. My nozzle is a little clogged, even though I looked in there and it looked okay. My glue bottle's just trying to mess with me today. Okay, and then you can just literally fold that right on top and just make sure that just make sure that these tabs down here are nice and aligned and vertically here that this is nice and perfect. Okay, so there we go. So we've got our little, we've got the beginning of our little luminary here. Okay. And what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm gonna pop this in here real quick. Okay, and that's gonna hold its shape nicely for when we go to glue this down and actually since we're actually creating a base for this, um, I want the inside to look nice and polished. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on these tabs here. Okay, it doesn't need to be perfect. Just get some glue in there. Make sure that it's nice and square. Okay, so I'm actually using my, actually using my little cutting mat here to help me ensure that I've got it nice and square. I'm gonna pop this piece inside and just run my finger along the inside there. Just like that. Okay, so that looks good. And then we're gonna put glue on the bottom of this and put it on our base once we have the base constructed, which we can go ahead and do now. And this is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. First thing you wanna do is just make sure that you Fold everything at the score marks here. Okay, just get everything kind of bent and going in the right direction. Okay. All right, and we're gonna join these two pieces together. So the first thing I wanna do is put glue on this tab here. And I'm gonna cover that whole tab as best as you can. Get that glue out to the edge and just put this down on your table. Line these two pieces up and just push that tab over. And then just before it really sets, fold it over on top of itself, nice and flat. And just make sure that you've got it nice and aligned. You can run your finger along the tabs here just to ensure that you've got it perfectly aligned. And that's just gonna help ensure that you have a nice perfect base. Okay, so while it's still flat here, we can go ahead and put glue on this tab here. Okay, and I'm gonna smear that glue out to the edge. And while it's still flat, you can just go ahead and push down to complete this piece. Okay, and now we have a little square base and I just need to put some paper on the top and bottom. Okay, so let's start with just one side here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue on this tab, do a fine little line towards the edge, which I'm going to just kind of smear and spread out. Okay, and I'm gonna take one of these pieces and get that nice and aligned with that edge. Okay, and once you have that, you can go ahead and flip it down like this and push from the inside to make sure that it gets a nice grip. Okay, so you should have a nice seam like that. Okay, and then we can go ahead and close this up by putting glue on the rest of the tabs here. So a nice line in the center there and then one towards the edge that we're gonna kinda spread thin up against the edge there, just to make sure that it gets a nice hold. We get a nice clean seam. And you can lift these up just a little bit so that as you push down, it has more surface area to grab. And just kinda scooch things around until You've got it all on there nicely. And just try to try to apply pressure on all three of those sides while it's setting. And it's just gonna ensure that it looks nice and crisp and clean, just like that. And we can flip it over 
and just repeat the process. I'm going to start with one side. I always like to start with one side instead of trying to do all four sides at once. At least we know that we'll have one side that is anchored properly and is perfect and that kind of sets the tone for the remainder of the sides. So let's go ahead and just repeat that process that we did with the other side, get it nice and lined up. Okay, and then push down, give it a few seconds to get an initial hold and then you can push down on the tab from the inside. And there we go, got another beautifully clean seam. And again, to close this off, nice line in the center. And then try to get one out to the edge. And we're gonna spread that, we're gonna spread that out so that we can get a nice clean seam. Just like that. Okay. All right. And then again, just lift these up a little bit and push down and then kind of scooch things around. Okay. There we go. Nice, beautiful little platform for our light. Okay. And all that's really left to do, and we have these, um, these little strips here that I cut out of gold foil, little accent pieces that we're just gonna put right here on the side just to kind of give it a little bit of extra, a little extra oomph. Okay, and I'm gonna grab my pick-me-up tool since this is a pretty delicate little piece. I'm gonna clean off my bottle and do my best to wanna to get little tiny little dots on here. And it's totally possible as long as you kind of learn to use your learn to use your glue bottle and kind of learn how to finesse it properly and then go ahead and center that vertically and horizontally and glue it down. There we go. Got a little stickiness that kind of came off of my pick me up, which is okay. That can that'll come off with a little bit of water. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, I'll show you that again here. Just grab it with my pick-me-up, flip it over. And what I do on, with the glue bottle is I kind of squeeze out a little bit before I even touch it to anything. And I just have a tiny little bit just kind of protruding through the nozzle tip. And then as I'm going, I kind of squeeze a little bit more here and there just to kind of force a little bit more out. And it seems to do the trick when it comes to really subtle pieces like this, really tiny pieces, I should say. Okay, don't need much glue, but definitely try to get the glue out to the edges. That's probably the most important thing. Okay, so we'll let that set, move on to the next side. And um, I guess once we're done with this, all that's really left to do is put the top onto the base and we'll pretty much be done. You just throw a little tea light in there and you are good to go. Okay, so you get the idea with this panel, this little accent piece. Okay, and um, like I said, you just want to go ahead and put that last one on the last side here. I've got three on here, I'm okay with that. Um, for the video, and um, at this point, all right, so all that's left to do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the tabs here. You can put a little bit on the inside, but just go real light so it doesn't warp the paper, and do your best to get that nice and centered on your base. Okay, and if you need to, you can kind of put something in there to kind of weigh it down so that it sits nicely, but I think that's fine. And, and we are good to go. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. 
get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.